There are more questions than answers tonight about a high speed chase that ended with a fatal crash in Huntsville. One innocent bystander was killed and a police officer from Gurley was sent to the hospital. This crash occurred at the intersection of I-565 and Jordan Lane late Friday night. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live. Daquan, there are a lot of unanswered questions about this story, especially considering Gurley is about 20 miles away from where the deadly crash occurred. Yeah, Nolan, our sources tell us this chase actually started all the way in Jackson County. That girly police officer joined the chase when it got into his jurisdiction. Now, according to police scanner traffic, the speeds of that pursuit went as fast as 130 miles per hour while they were headed towards Huntsville. Sunday morning, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency announced that just before midnight Friday night, a girly patrol vehicle crashed into another car. 22-year-old Matthew Norwood from Tony and 31-year-old Gurley police officer Christopher Whalen were both taken to the hospital. Norwood died of his injuries while Whalen's condition is still unknown. A couple questions I would have if I was the family in this situation is, is how did this all come about? What was the police officer doing? Was it just an accident? Was he, did he have his lights on? Or did he, was he running a siren? Gurley police have not responded to questions surrounding the events of the pursuit, but attorney Hunter Garnett says a civil suit may be filed depending on the facts of the situation. Generally, police officers are immune from civil prosecution unless they violate a written rule. An example of a written rule would be uh, if you're running code, which, which means lights and siren, you're usually immune uh, if you cause an accident. Garnett says the case doesn't stop there. The suspect being chased could also be held liable. So in a case like this, you'd have multiple responsible parties. You would have the guy that's running from the police and you may have the police officer that's chasing him depending on the facts of the case, you know, depending on if that police officer violated a written safety rule. But the guy that's running from the police, he's going to be liable uh, civilly and criminally for the death of this innocent bystander. Now, one of the biggest questions that we have regarding this situation was the suspect that was being chased ever caught. And when we've reached out to law enforcement looking for answers, we've either been declined an answer or have been deferred to state troopers. And when we have those answers and details, we'll be the first to let you know both on air and online. Reporting live in Huntsville, Daquan Lee, 48 on your side.